What's going on? What's going on? Shimei Diamond K, of course, in here. And uh, many of you know about the passing of rapper Fat Man Scoop passed away uh, at the age of 53 years old. So we're going to talk about uh, Fat Man Scoop and uh, the impact that he had on music in the club. Uh, as a DJ myself, uh, became familiar with Fat Man Scoop uh, in the 90s and, uh, you know, working with uh, Crooklyn Clan and, and uh, AV8 Records uh, and, you know, going on to work with artists like Timberland and Missy and Mariah Carey and uh, uh, many others. So we're going to talk about the... Uh, I'm going to say the legend, and, and uh, folks throw that word around a lot, uh, but this is a, a time where I feel that word is appropriate. Uh, definitely a legend in the club, definitely a legend on records. Uh, he's somebody that was into the business, into the performing side of things, and when we talk about um, longevity, uh, longevity is something that uh, obviously has its place and something that he worked hard to achieve. So we're going to talk about that uh, and a lot uh, more uh, with the passing of uh, Fat Man Scoop. And and I hate to, to talk about folks on, on the bad, uh, on the end of something bad, something tragic. Uh, definitely, uh, we're going to be talking about a lot of artists and, um, giving them their proverbial flowers, uh, a lot sooner, uh, because, cause you never know when somebody is going to pass on. So it's not like it's something that you can, uh, predict in many instances. So the family, the family of, uh, Fat Man Scoop, uh, the Freeman family posted a message and, uh, we're going to, Look at that message. So the message says that it is with profound sadness and very heavy hearts that we share news of the passing of the legendary and iconic Fat Man Scoop. Last night, the world lost a radiant soul, a beacon of light on the stage and in life, Fat Man Scoop was not just a world-class performer. He was a father, brother, uncle, and a friend. He was the laughter in our lives, a constant source of support, unwavering strength, and courage. Fat Man Scoop was known to the world as the undisputed voice of the club. His music made us dance and embrace life with positivity. His joy was infectious and the generosity he extended to all will be deeply missed, but never forgotten. As we mourn the loss of Fat Man Scoop, we also celebrate his remarkable life and the countless lives he touched. Fat Man Scoop's legacy is of love and brightness. It will reside in our hearts and memories forever. So that was... Something that the family of Fat Man Scoop posted and, and uh, many folks have shared it. Uh, it is something that um, the family shared to his uh, social media pages. And, uh, and I thought that it was I thought it's something that uh, really represents uh, who he is, who he uh, will be remembered as. And. Um, you know, I talked about him as as an artist, uh, as a performer, but he's also someone that uh, gave uh, advice and counsel many other artists uh, trying to, you know, make it in the game. And uh, I thought that this was very, uh, very uh, necessary to share. Something that he, that that he talked about a couple of years ago: practice, prepare, perform. And uh, he advised folks to share share it with someone who needed to hear it. And uh, I thought it was good because it's, it's directly from him. How to make pictures, videos, 
from This Is Nikki S. I practice more, DJ sets, dance moves, everything, and I execute more. Practice, prepare, perform, period. Take a minute to listen to this and share it with somebody. This is my life, studio to stage, trains, planes, and automobiles. I worked really hard to get here, but you know what's even harder to do? Maintaining it. Every day somebody's coming out younger, faster, and more talented. So how do I survive? I try to get better every day. When I was coasting, I was getting coasting results. So I try to study more, work more, practice more, and more importantly, execute more. And I never practiced. So you got to ask yourself, what am I going to do to get better? If you don't get better, you stay still or you get worse. So what you going to do? I tried to learn more and learn more and learn more. For example, I took this strategy on how to make pictures, videos from This Is Nikki S. I practice more, DJ sets, dance moves, everything, and I execute more. Practice, prepare, perform, period. Yeah, and I and I thought I thought that that was a uh, uh, very good message. Practice, prepare, perform. So as an artist, this is something that is necessary. Uh, but a lot of artists don't practice. Uh, it, it, uh, interesting. Uh, I thought it was interesting that, that uh, to know that a lot of artists don't practice. Um, you know, different artists that I've worked with, produced for. Uh, sometimes it clicked, and, and you kind of knew what was necessary. You didn't have to practice, uh, but you still you still had a practice that was in mind, and you just kind of just emulated that on stage. But practicing super important. Super important. So, of course, we're talking about Isaac Freeman the uh, Third, better known by his stage name Fat Man Scoop, an American rapper, hype man, radio personality, uh, and he had these raw vocals, and, and the vocals would boom over records. Uh, worked perfectly in the club. And like I said, we were we were playing, um, you know, records that he was on but in the nineties. I, I would say. Um, 97, 98, he had his record called uh, Where You At with the Crooklyn Clan that was released uh, on AV8 Records. And then the uh, record that really got him on the uh, map in the club uh, that featured the Crooklyn Clan was called Be Faithful. A lot of samples on that record. Uh, but that record really, um, really took off in the club. It's definitely a classic. Uh, and just some of the other records, uh, It Takes Scoop, what he, what he used, It Takes Two Beat. Uh, and that was with DJ Cool. That rang off in the club, um, and uh, he had a lot of he had, he had a lot of good records. He had this New Year's uh, New Year's um, Eve anthem that uh, had the homie DJ Class on it. That that was that that rang off. That was in uh, 2009. Uh, but he had, he had a lot of records, and of course, you know their their features that he had because uh, we talk about the Be Faithful record. Um, the Be Faithful record, which is probably it's probably his biggest solo record, uh, but that had a lot of samples on there. Uh, a lot of um, Fat Man Scoop's records were sample heavy. They were DJ tools, uh, and they just it, it just really just jumped off. But like you had samples from like Jay Z, Black Sheep, uh, Beat Nuts, Queen Pen, Faith Evans, and that was the Be Faithful record. Um, I can't think of any DJ that plays in clubs that is not familiar with that record. That record is is a massive record, and you're going to start hearing it a lot more. Uh, but he collaborated with a lot of artists, Lil Jon, uh, Pitbull, Timberland, uh, Whitney, Janet, Missy, Sierra. Um, and uh, so the, the, the record, uh, Lose Control, is, is the Missy record with Sierra, which reached number three on the Hot 100, Billboard's Hot 100 in the U.S. Video uh, won uh, Grammy for Best Short Form Music Video. It was, you know, you know how Missy do it. You know how Missy do it. And so uh, the song was also nominated for Best Rap Song in the Grammys. Uh, but uh, he's on a Mariah Carey record. A lot of, a lot of records, a lot of, um, a lot of features. And he stayed working. He's one of those artists that stayed out there, stayed working. Um, and uh, so, you know, we definitely got to uh, just take a moment to kind of um, remember the brother. who. So he passed away uh, as of this recording, um, sadly, 
at uh, a performance in Hamden, Connecticut. Rushed to the hospital after collapsing on stage. Uh, and this is August 30th, um, 2024. So, uh, you know, he's he's young, right? He's not he's not that old, uh, not that old. Uh, but um, you know, we've been seeing a lot of rappers passing away, and um, you know, it 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 definitely saddens the uh, community, saddens hip hop, um, the uh, party king artist. A lot of folks are uh, using that. Uh, nickname, as I said, his name is Isaac Freeman the Third. That's how he was born. Uh, suffered some type of medical emergency during a performance, and um, he was transported. The reports came out transported uh, via ambulance uh, to the hospital, and um, and that is uh, where things went downhill from there. Uh, there's this video floating around. I, and I hate when these things happen, right? Uh, when we have a when we have a tragic loss, somebody's got their camera out. Somebody has got to show, you know, something. Uh, of course, we're not going to play any video like that. But there's a video out there. TMZ, no surprise, uh, showed the rapper collapsing on stage around 8:30 p.m. last night uh, before people rushed over to administer CPR. So, Fat Man Scoop's manager, uh, Michael Birch announced uh, his death this morning and he had a heartfelt tribute and he said that it is with the heaviest of hearts I announced the passing of Isaac Freeman III known professionally as Fat Man Scoop. He wrote in a statement, you taught me how to be the man I am today. I love you Scoop. Thank you uh, so much for everything that you gave me. Rest in peace. Uh, that was his manager posting that so needless to say uh that is uh you know a, a major loss uh, a manager uh losing uh his artist and having to announce uh that passing that the passing of that artist uh on social media not um you know definitely definitely not an enviable uh position at all so um and then after after the announcement came, of course, uh, you know, thoughts and prayers pouring out over social media. Uh, many folks that have worked with him, many folks that uh, knew him, many folks that just knew his music, um, you know, sharing their uh, uh, thoughts. Uh, and this this here, if you're if you're watching, um, is uh, the post from his manager. And, um, you know, so you can see that, uh, folks that are listening, uh, this is just, it's a photo of fat man scoop and, uh, his manager. And so, um, you know, voice of the club, another thing that, uh, another nickname that they gave fat man school, well-deserved, well-deserved. He did, he did a lot of, uh, he just had one of those kind of voices that just, uh, just, you know, made folks want to get up, energize them. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I definitely, I, like I said, I've heard a lot of folks, you know, claim titles. A lot of times folks will say they're this, say they're that, uh, and you need to say that, you know, even before it may be true. Uh, but this, uh, definitely is, uh, someone who has earned the title that he, uh, liked to claim definitely earned it. Um, so we're talking about fat man scoop. And uh, this is, there's a photo of Fat Man Scoop right there. Uh, like I said, uh, the homie stayed busy. Uh, he stayed busy. I uh, came to Baltimore a couple of times and uh, had the opportunity to, um, uh, you know, see him. It wasn't like my best friend, uh, obviously, but uh, he, you know, all the times that I interacted with him, he was a cool dude. And um, uh, it is it is definitely sad for our hip hop community. And um, uh, his booking the booking agency posted that uh, we are heartbroken to announce the passing of our dear friend and client Fat Man Scoop at the age of 53. Scoop was beloved, a beloved figure in the music world whose work was loved by countless fans across the globe. His iconic voice 
infectious energy and great personality made us or made an indiable uh, mark on the industry and his legacy will live on through his timeless music. So uh, that is, um, you know, like I said, there are many folks that are posting, um, you know, their thoughts on the passing. And these are folks that worked with him um, directly that had some type of, uh, you know, business dealings with him. And uh, so, you know, they, they're they definitely hit hard by this. But fans, fans are hit hard as well. And uh, so you're going to hear DJs scrambling to play, you know, songs that uh, the artist was on. Um, and uh, they continued. This is uh, his uh, booking agency. Uh, Fat Man Scoop had been a valued member of the MN. 2S family for 15 years and his loss is deeply felt by all of us. Our thoughts are with his family, friends and fans during this incredibly difficult time. Fat Man Scoop's vibrant spirit, boundless enthusiasm and passion for music will always remain in our hearts. Rest in peace, Scoop. And uh, so they have this nice photo of him. Looks like a like an oil painting kind of thing. And um so, you know, when folks pass away, uh, there is always uh, different versions, I would say, uh, different uh, folks that have different experiences. And um, uh, for the most part, everything that I have seen has been like super respectful and uh, and all of that. And I think that is uh, is the best way to keep it right. If, if you had a disagreement with somebody that's passed away, especially at this point in time, you know, just keep that that just keep it respectful right keep it respectful because you know you got the family that is uh suffering uh especially with a um you know just a a death that is uh unexpected of course they the uh details or, or the reason why the cause of death we do not know as of yet um so you know late late yesterday uh when the reports hit that um he had collapsed on stage. Of course, you know, many folks were, were hoping for the best. Um, but it was, um, it was not to be, uh, as far as the way that everybody, uh, was hoping and praying for. So he suffered some type of medical emergency on stage. And I guess, um, if you gotta go, you know, on stage doing something that you love is, um, you know, it, it, it is, uh, Something that many folks, you know, would welcome, I suppose. I guess once they're doing something that you love or in your sleep, uh, no cause of death has been provided as of yet. Uh, tour manager um, posting that he died and, um, you know, his touring agency giving their love. A lot of artists, a lot of artists, too many artists to name, but a lot of artists uh, given their uh, love, right? And so, like I said, if you remember, he appeared on Missy's 2005. Wow, 2005, 20 years ago, just about uh, to lose control along with Sierra. So that that reached number three. So that was a that was a big song. Uh, Missy Elliott uh, tweeted out today, following the news of um, Fat Man Scoop's passing, that prayers. For Fat Man Scoop's family for strength during this difficult time. Uh, Fat Man Scoop voice and energy have contributed to many songs, all caps, many songs that made the people feel happy and want to dance for over two decades. Your impact is huge and will never be forgotten. I think that that is very important. Uh, an artist like Fat Man Scoop making the types of songs that he made uh, will never be forgotten. Uh, you definitely, I mean, it's just, it's one of those things. Uh, a party uh, artist, uh, he made fun, happy music, and that's what it was about. It's about fun, happiness, and, and joy. ASAP Rocky uh, recently revealed that his song, Hood Happy, uh, from his upcoming album, Don't Be Dumb, uh, features Fat Man Scoop and uh, Buster Rhymes, Flavor Flav, Slick Rick, and others. And so looking forward to hearing that. Uh, as we find out more information about 
um, Fat Man Scoop as far as uh, home going um, and uh, just any more information. We will keep you all posted on that. But I definitely wanted just to take a moment to uh, just talk about Fat Man Scoops. Uh, I mean, um, as a DJ coming up in the 90s. You know, uh, those we call them AV8 Records because that was the name of the record company, AV8 Records. And he, uh, Fat Man Scoop, eventually left AV8 Records and did his own thing. Uh, but uh, coming up in the 90s, we could take some AV8 Records and there were good bridges in between, um, you know, different, you know, if you're going to do a music change, a style change, as far as if you were playing hip hop and you were going to go to reggae, you're going to go to something else. These AV8 records, which are party break records for DJs, they would just be a, a great tool for that. And uh, that's how Fat Man Scoop came on the scene doing uh, DJ break records. So, you know, it's different beats, snippets from different songs, and he would get over the beat and yell things out. Oh, $50 bill, put your hands up, this, that, that. You know, those kind of things uh, where an MC in the club would do. So he would kind of do party routines on records. Uh, and it, and it was a great thing for DJs, especially if you didn't have, if you didn't have somebody hyping up the crowd, you could throw on one of those records. And it's like, you had a fat man scoop live there in the party to help you through, uh, through the event. And so I can't think um, there's so many times where I've used records that fat man scoop was on, uh, to help me get through, uh, a party. And the Be Faithful record, which, you know, to, you know, it's like 2000, something like that. Uh, it, it just um, it, it was it just was a ma- it was a major record. We played as far as in the club, we played the Be Faithful record, the, the remix uh, of the Faith record, Faith Evans record, more than we played the Faith Evans record in the club. You could play it. And it, it just it was just one of those things. It was just crazy. And um, so I, I'm definitely going to miss. Uh, those type of records, and hopefully we still uh, have you know have some folks that are inspired by Fat Man Scoop to to continue to make those kind of records, and we're definitely going to continue to play uh, those records, those um, uh, you know those those party break records. It, it is uh, it is essential. I was at some of the DJ groups that I'm in, you know, folks trying to get. Uh, those Fat Man Scoop records, and then some of the OG DJs are saying stuff like, "Y'all should have already had that record. You can't wait till somebody passed away to get that record. You should have already had that record in your crate." And um, you know, but any DJs that needs uh, uh any one of those, any of those Fat Man Scoop records, you definitely hit me up, DJ Diamond K Gmail dot com. I will get you those records, uh, DJs, if you need that. Because uh, we definitely want to continue to play those records. We don't want to try to be gatekeepers for for good music, right? It's, it's one thing that always frustrated me about Baltimore. Sometimes they want to be gatekeepers. I I only want this person and this person to play this record. I don't want nobody else to play the record. I've never been like that, right? Uh, any DJ, if you need a record, hit me up and I and I'll get you the record. You know what I mean? It's just to me, it's about getting music to the people, and um, you know what I mean. It, it is uh, it, it is like that. Uh, Keith Mon on uh, Facebook says that someone needs to check on Jazzy Faye. Um, of course, you're talking. He's talking about uh, producer Jazzy Faye. So why why do you say that Jazz, Jazzy Faye is not? Uh, is he he's taking this hard? Uh, we definitely need to te- check on Jazzy Faye. Uh, Jazzy Faye is uh, is a uh, producer out of Atlanta, and um, you know he uh, obviously has. Uh, uh, relationships and so yeah so definitely definitely had to check on uh jazzy fay uh atl atl out of atl all right so uh definitely like i said we're going to continue to uh follow this story um and uh continue to uh lift uh the family friends and fans of uh fat man scoop isaac freeman the third uh just had a birthday august the 6th so august the 6th 19 19- uh, 71 is uh, when he was born, August the 6th, 1971. So uh, this uh, this young guy just having a birthday and uh, passing away August the 30th, 2024, uh, better known by his stage name, Fat Man Scoop. Uh, so definitely, uh, as we get more information, we're going to talk about this more. And um, definitely your man, Diamond K, of course, on all social media, I'm at the Diamond K show, DJ Diamond K at gmail.com. Of course, visit on fire-tv.com and I will see you guys tomorrow.